ignition, and liftoff. Hurled into space back in 2011, this voyage to the giant of our solar system is one for the record books. A craft known as Juno, boldly traveling farther than any solar-powered probe has gone before. Somebody asked, when does the nail biting start? Um, it's already started. <laughs> That's because as the probe arrives at Jupiter on Monday with its distinct trio of solar panels, it has to pull off a critical maneuver, a 35-minute engine burn all on autopilot as controllers on Earth wait for a three-second beep tone telling them it worked. I can tell you when that completes, you're going to see a lot of celebration because that means we'll be in orbit around Jupiter. And um, that'll be really cool. Using a Hollywood-style trailer, NASA's been building hype for the mission. Its primary goal, to learn what's beneath Jupiter's colorful clouds and famous red spot, with scientists theorizing that the planet known as a gas giant might have a solid core. We don't know. It might be gas all the way down. It might have a solid ball at the middle. And this is the mission that's going to answer that question. At its closest approach, the probe will get to within 5,000 kilometers of the cloud tops and get a detailed look at Jupiter's poles with their supersized display of northern and southern lights. It will also repeatedly pass through an intense radiation belt that would normally zap electronics. On Juno, though, they're tucked away in a protective titanium vault. If you wanted to pick, aside from the sun, the scariest environments we know of to send a spacecraft to, <laughs> Jupiter would be the place to go. It's hoped the probe will be in orbit for 20 months before plunging into the atmosphere and burning up. That is, if the engine burn on Monday goes as planned. John Benavalli Rouse, CTV News, Toronto.